Alrighty boys, welcome back once again to another video, how are you guys doing? Guys, today we're going to be doing a video on the version 9.20 patch notes for Fortnite Save the World. For those of you guys that don't know, this patch notes is what's going to be bringing the new Save the World event into fruition, and we're going to be getting a crap ton of new content. Before we do jump into this, I'd like to go ahead and thank my man Valence Wubs for using my supporter creator code and buying Prickly Patroller. For those of you guys that do not use my code, make sure that you do use somebody that doesn't clickbait and makes real content but without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it skip past the boring stuff and let's take a look at these patch notes starting off we have the what's new beyond the stellar horizon i don't even know if this is a skin in battle royale or not let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit for you guys um beyond the stellar horizon join the cast and crew of beyond the stellar horizon as the vss gallant takes flight once more so she looks very nice uh like really new um i don't know if she's in battle rail or not you guys can let me know in the comments uh we have invasion uh you don't want to be in the way when the laser goes off in this new war game simulation so looking like we got some alien stuff going on right there missions and systems uh the new war game simulation invasion a ufo invades the sky above your storm shield blasting your defenses and beaming down unwanted company destroy that spinning saucer to give your defense a breather but like every bad sequel it will return um a new war game simulation means more chances for it okay and it'll be available uh, on june 5th at 8 p.m eastern time which it's june 6th so we'll probably be seeing it when servers are up uh invasion and any future war game releases will now line up with the nightly store rotation at 8 p.m this will better align new war games quest with the available simulations we have a new sci-fi llama which is available in the store featuring four new sci-fi heroes and five new sci-fi weapons and it costs 500 summer tickets players will now match making war games and storm shield missions across different zones when using the community lookout feature uh, and this will help reduce matchmaking times uh, rewards from the weekly quest have been updated upon completing a weekly quest you'll be rewarded 500 summer tickets and one other selectable reward so that's really good based on your progression on the main quest line uh, they increase the amount of gold and perk up materials awarded um, from I guess the weekly quest um, you will no longer need to complete the ride the lightning quest to unlock heavy heavy melee attacks they are unlocked from the start of the game so that's pretty nice right there um we got some bug fixes right here they fix an issue with war games matchmaking not pairing players correctly uh trapped out war games challenge properly restores the traps when completed or when the simulation is concluded i mean uh they fixed an issue that prevented traps from properly resetting durability uh the first version of the okay repair the shelter hidden parts will no longer spawn inside the terrain i've actually been having a lot of problems with that recently uh seabot will not properly find hidden parts after he successfully defended and repaired the shelter and players now correctly receive people uh the people resource upon completing rescue the survivors so that's actually something i've been dealing with as well uh, we have some ui stuff right here uh we will come back to these and see if there's anything important there uh we got some performance stuff uh improved performance on the transform menu uh improved performance of monster movement improved performance of various attacks and abilities of these right here uh, i'm really glad to see lefty and righty and going constructor right here uh bug fixes uh fix menu hitching on low end pcs and fix the hitch when entering the survivor menu and now we have the heroes so azalea clark the new mythic outlander joins the crew her standard perk is space technology which increases the ability energy damage by 15 percent and her commander perk does this and additionally her shock tower explodes dealing 107 energy damage to nearby enemies sounds really cool we got the team perk zap two space heroes uh two space explorer heroes are needed and zap has your back dealing 105 base energy damage to a random enemy every six seconds sounds very interesting i must say um shock the enemies with extraterrestrial rio the new soldier so we have resonant frequency energy damage increases by 26 percent against shields i'm not sure what that means i guess the uh the little the shielder guys the bubbles i guess and then 78 percent against shields right there available on the sci-fi llamas we got uh eddie from as a constructor must protect critical hits with melee weapon uh, with melee weapon energy damages adds 32 percent of current shield to damage so that sounds interesting and then 96 percent right here zap the husks with cyberclops the new outlet bro what are these new heroes man plasma arc energy damage has a 20 percent chance to zap nearby enemies for 58 percent of damage dealt and also you know we got right down here a little bit more damage additionally teddy deals energy damage this sounds very interesting man 
Some of these sound very interesting. Intergalactic Kin, the new ninja, has energy siphon. Uh, eliminations with energy damage restores 8.5% of missing shields. Wow. 17% uh, right here, and additionally, throwing stars would do energy damage. Uh, Archaeologist will return to the weekly store. We all know what she does. Um, and the start date is uh, June the 5th, which was yesterday, and to June the 12th, uh, which would be, you know, around next week. So we got some bug fixes right here. If you guys want to read over those really quick, I don't want to take up all your time because we got a lot of new stuff. So they added the retro sci fi weapon set in the sci fi llamas. Uh, the Atomic Light Expander, the energy spear with an electric smash attack that deals damage to enemies in a large radius. The Blastotron 9000, a scoped automatic energy sniper rifle. The Blastotron Mini, a rapid firing automatic energy pistol. The Gammatron 9000, the rapid burst fire energy assault rifle, that sounds very cool. The Husk Warper, high damage low impact energy hammer with a devastating black hole attack that pulls husks in. Oh my god, dude. That sounds really cool. That sounds badass. Um, they're introducing a new tar pit trap. So we're kind of going to the future and then we're getting like a prehistoric type trap for some reason. Um, Enemies that step into this trap get stuck for a short duration. Uh, the trap is reactive to bullets, so if an enemy gets stuck, just give it a shot. And it says available in the event store on June the 5th. This is very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. We got some fixes right here. Uh, some gameplay stuff. Auto runs canceled after dying. Bull rust no longer destroys player built buildings. Uh, player shields are correctly okay. I'm not seeing anything too, too crazy. Uh, high level trap placed in early zones when I reset. Um, zappers from above have be wait zappers from above have invaded the world replacing their gunslinger cousins for the time being Ooh, so like maybe some alien husks yo guys I'm, I'm i'm just gonna say it out right now um this seems pretty big this seems pretty big from the looks of it we are getting so much unique content like, I, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think she's from Battle Royale. I don't think this character's from Battle Royale. And by the sounds of it, we are getting some insane heroes and some insane weapons and just a really cool event. Like, we got a hammer that summons a black hole, dude. Um, I'm gonna be, you know, of course, after this past notes video, I'm gonna be doing a llama opening over on the channel as well. As soon as I do end up recording that video, I am gonna go live on Twitch and I'm gonna schedule that for noon Eastern time today. So if you guys do wanna watch, you know, me play throughout this update and uh, check out all the new content, twitch.tv slash Demon Joe France. If you guys wanna go over there, I would definitely be streaming this pretty much all day. But guys, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. This seems to be a very interesting update. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. This is pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, make sure to leave a like on the video. If you did like it, please subscribe if you're new. I make videos like this every single day and I will have another one out later today. But guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.